hello welcome back it's me again um i'm going to do the next video for blood type b um i haven't had a lot of people ask so um but i still want to do it because it still could help some people who don't know so um if you guys could just post this on your page there might be somebody that follows you that can benefit from this and thank you to all the supporters the people who shared it who liked it who just shared it uh, even if you watched it or not I do appreciate it very very much um, I'm not getting any money from this I just want to help people and so if you just sharing it just because I want to help people that shows how much you guys care too so thank you very much okay so this video is for blood type B people um, blood type B people, um, I have realized this is, is different. It's very different. As I've done O and A, they're kind of polar opposites. <coughs> Excuse me. B is a little bit different. So if you haven't already, please pick up the book, Eating Right for Your Type. Um, the book is very good. Um, if you... Um, need to know my introduction. I have posted a video before on the introduction to the book. I will not do it right now. So just read, um, please watch the other video. Eating right for your type is basically based on your blood type. And um, I'm going to talk about all the things that are good for the blood type B and all the things that are bad. Um, the next blood type I'll do will be AB and that will be the last of the blood types. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, please inbox me. Um, before I start, I can't name everything, um, so if you have a question about something, inbox me or comment below. Also, um, the book labels things from highly beneficial to um, neutral and avoid list. The neutral things don't really benefit you or they don't do anything bad, so you eat them in moderation, okay? So let's start it off with blood type B. Blood type B people um, have strong immune systems. So I guess when I say these things, see if it relates to you and somehow everything that I say now, see how it relates to you. Your blood um, is your, is, is, is you. It composes of you. Without your blood, you're nothing. You, your heart doesn't pump. Your brain doesn't function. So know that the foods that you eat benefit your blood, helps you to live healthy, strong, etc. cetera, okay? Um, so blood type B people have strong immune systems. And out of all the blood types, they can really eat dairy. As before, type O and type A, they can't really consume the dairy. Um, and they have a tolerant um, digestive tract, so they can tolerate more things, uh, more so than A and O. And they respond to stress by use of creativity. So if you're stressed out, type B people, please use your creativity or create creativity to help alleviate your stress okay <clears throat> so let's start off with the foods um well let's start off with um promote promoting weight gain and promoting weight loss so these are the things that encourage weight gain again these things are not weight gain in a good way some people want to gain weight um these are bad ways to gain weight so note that um Corn, lentils, peanuts, sesame seeds, um, buckwheat, and wheat. Those things promote weight gain. And anything um, that promotes weight loss. Um, green vegetables, meat, liver, eggs, and low-fat dairy products, and licorice tea. Um, the licorice tea is a little... Um, complex so ask me if you're interested in it it in the book it's, it has a lot of commentary on licorice tea for some reason um <clears throat> these uh so those things promote promote weight loss that's if you're trying to lose weight again this is not some diet that you have to follow to lose weight this is what's going to help um help you achieve being your ideal weight and help you um stay healthy and living right um so these things are good it's going to mention why the book is going to mention why certain foods are bad for you and why certain foods are good for you and it's all pertaining to health it doesn't most of the stuff doesn't always talk about weight loss but in the end if you are looking for weight loss if you're overweight you will notice um a change 
in your diet, I mean in your weight, if you are trying to lose weight. Okay, so the meats that um, type B can consume um, that are highly beneficial are goat, lamb, mutton, rabbit, and venison. I think venison is deer, if I'm not mistaken. Um, avoid pork, chicken, Cornish hen, duck, goose, um, or duck and goose, okay? Um, the book talks heavily about chicken, and um, they say chicken is supposed to be so much better than beef and stuff, but not in the type B blood type okay blood type b needs to avoid chicken the reason um, being it has bad lectins that causes auto autoimmune disorders and strokes so please try to eliminate it um, as much as you can um, try to substitute it with lean beef um, turkey uh, oh i'm not sorry turkey is a um, neutral thing so you can't eat turkey um goat lamb try to substitute it um for, with beef as well so um try to cut your chicken it has a bad lectin in it that gluten that glutinates with it and it just causes so many problems i know it's terrible but the book will tell you more about it um seafood um type b people thrive on deep ocean fish so it's pretty pretty good for you to eat the deep ocean fish and if you don't know what they are i can help you highly beneficial for you cod Croaker, flounder, grouper, halibut, perch, salmon, mahi-mahi, and sardine. These are just some of the things that are good for you. There's also more in the book. Um, avoid anchovy, bass, clam, crab, frog, lobster, lox, which is smoked salmon. Lox is smoked salmon. Mussel, oyster, shrimp, trout, and snail. Um, those things you should avoid. Um those things are not good for you. So try to avoid those. I know people are like shrimp. I love shrimp, but shrimp are bottom feeders. So they're not a good fish to eat because they have all the crap. They eat all the crappy stuff. Okay, so let's talk more about the dairy. Um, I said earlier that type B people can consume dairy. So let's talk about, um, let's talk about, um, first of all, African Americans. And I've noted this, um, in other videos this is not particular to just name out any race but if you're an african-american um note that our ancestors from africa had no lactose in their diets no dairy um so that's one of the reasons why african-americans have problems processing dairy in this case um it's no yogurt no milk Eggs and cheeses are fine. Um, so if you can, um, I would not suggest soy milk or anything because I'll, I'll talk about that later. But no milk um, or yogurt. So there are uh, milks out there with no lactose in it. I guess you can try it. I haven't, I mean, to see how that works for you. Um, so... It also breaks it down from Caucasian and Asian descent, and I think they can have most of the dairy. Go figure. Um, and also, if you're lactose intolerant, the book will explain some of the things that you can do to help you um, figure out something good for you as your diet, okay? Um, and never know if you eliminate some of the stuff that you've been eating that's bad, you may be able to take more of that dairy in. So that could be um something that'll benefit you so the dairy that's highly beneficial for type b is cottage cheese feta cheese goat cheese and goat milk um cow milk uh, mozzarella ricotta and yogurt again those are for um an exception to what i was talking about african americans they do um, break it down into ancestry from african caucasian jew i mean um African, Caucasian, and Asian, but um, so African Americans, please, I said yogurt, but they prefer African Americans not to eat yogurt. Avoid American cheese, blue cheese, ice cream, and string cheese. Again, there's a lot of other cheeses that I did not name, like Colby Jack and um, provolone and stuff like that. Those are on a neutral list. I don't want to go into that because it takes a while. So the book, please get the book. It'll It'll tell you the things that are neutral for you. Um, and you can just kind of moderate what you can intake, okay? 
um, oils and fats, highly beneficial for you are olive oil, and that's about it. Um, I know you're like, oh man, what am I supposed to fry my whatever in? But you can't have chicken, so no fried chicken. I'm sorry. Avoid avocado oil, um, canola oil, castor oil, coconut oil, corn oil, peanut oil, sesame oil, soy oil, and sunflower oil. When you're going to the grocery store, you probably should actually right now while I'm doing this video, you should be taking notes. Um, hopefully you'll get the book. When you go to the grocery store, um, I'll, I have a card that I keep with me and I put all the stuff that is beneficial for me and some things that notes that are bad for me so that when I'm picking out the things that I need to eat, I can avoid those and get the ones that are good. For instance, I'm going to eat oatmeal, oatmeal cookie versus a regular cookie because it has wheat in it, but I can have oatmeal and that's good for me. So I, I do suggest you guys do that for when you go to the grocery store and shopping for your food, okay? Um, nuts and seeds. Um, most nuts and seeds are not advised um, for type B because they interfere with insulin production. Listen, um, it, it mentions a lot of stuff about insulin um, production in the um, for type B. There's a lot of foods that will slow it down or interfere with insulin production. And what is insulin? Insulin, if you don't get your insulin, you become diabetic. And guess what? You're going to have to take insulin shots. So, like I said, this is not just about weight. This is about health. I don't want to see any more on my timeline about people are sick and in the hospital. That, that's not that's not a good thing. And um, it's it's very sad for me. So I want to help people get back on track, okay? Um, highly beneficial for you are black walnuts. Those are the only highly, highly beneficial nuts that you can eat, okay? They say that neutral, you can have almonds, Brazil nuts, macadamia, and pecan or pecan butter. That's neutral. Again, I wouldn't advise you to just say, oh, well, that's good. I'm going to eat that all the time. It's a neutral thing, so it doesn't necessarily benefit you all the time. So it's okay every now and then. Avoid cashew and cashew butter, pistachio, peanut and peanut butter, pumpkin seed, sesame, and sesame butter, and sunflower. No more peanuts or no more peanut butter type B people because it's very bad for you, okay? It promotes weight gain and it interferes with insulin produce, uh, production. Two things, gain weight, no insulin. Simple, it's hard, but you have to cut it for yourself, okay? Um, beans, let's talk about beans. Um, the same thing goes with the beans. There are a few beans that you guys can eat because it interferes with insulin production as well. The book is wonderful. Um, so there's a few beans that are highly beneficial for you. Kidney beans, lima beans, and navy beans, which type A people, if you're watching this, avoid because those are bad for us, um, but are good for type B people. It's weird. Um, <coughs> avoid black beans, black eyed peas, <coughs> excuse me, garbanzo beans, lentil, pinto beans, soybeans, and anything in soy product, avoid. Um, Again, it's terrible because I'm type A and all that stuff is good for me. Soy products are good for me, um, but bad for type B. So type B, no soy products. Um, cereals. Highly beneficial cereals for you are millet, oat bran, oatmeal, puffed rice. So I think like Rice Krispies or something like that. That might be okay. Um, rice bran and something called spelt. I'm not sure. I've never seen spelt. I've never heard of it, but they say spelt is really good for you. So I guess if you go to the grocery store, look it up. Um, avoid anything with butt wheat uh, or like kasha, corn flakes, cornmeal, cream of wheat, um, which is on the list for type A and type O to avoid. So there must be something terrible in it. No cream of wheat. Um, grits are bad. Rye, seven grain, tapioca, wheat germ, and wheat bran. Those things you should avoid, okay? All right. So let's talk about breads and muffins. Um the safest bread pretty much that is good for all blood types that I found out is the Ezekiel bread. Um, I had a couple people ask me about the Ezekiel bread. It actually doesn't taste bad. I actually been eating it for the last two months. Um, you can get it at like Kroger um, or Publix, but Kroger is, um, excuse me, Kroger is the cheapest. 
Um, there's no sodium in it. It's perfect for you. It's completely healthy for you. The way it's made, it's completely healthy. So um, they have sesame, uh, oatmeal raisin, and like a regular, like just a regular. Um, I toast it every morning. And of course, I can eat peanut butter. Peanut butter is perfect for me because I'm type A, but bad for type B. So um, I put peanut butter on mine every morning. And it's pretty good. You just toast it or whatever. But you have to keep it cold so it doesn't go bad. But it's um, $5 at Kroger for the bag but don't worry because if you spend more money on a loaf of bread trust me you won't eat it as much you won't eat it as much just eat it for like toast for breakfast if you want to make a sandwich or something I have done that before I make grilled cheese with it um veggie cheese because I can't eat dairy um so um Ezekiel bread rice cakes are good for you and um brown rice bread those are highly beneficial for you. Avoid corn muffin, um, multigrain bread, rye, whole wheat bread, and pumpernickel. Avoid all that stuff, okay? So let's talk about grains and pastas. Highly beneficial for you. Oat flour, rice flour, and um, spelt flour. These are been, um, when I name like grains and pastas and stuff, and when I name like breads and stuff, when you look at your ingredients, it'll tell you what, what the what um flour it's made of so that's why that i mention these things because you can't have anything made with soy flour okay <clears throat> so make sure that when you're looking at your ingredients you're like oh this is made with soy flour i can't have that um avoid couscous graham flour gluten flour um soba noodles um wild rice and whole wheat flour so make sure that um you guys look for that in your ingredients so let's talk about the big stuff, vegetables. Vegetables are like the biggest thing for type Bs. Um, um, the big thing they want you to eliminate, which is um, for me too, which I hate, eliminate tomatoes. It talks about it in type A diet and it talks about it in the type B diet. Um, that tomatoes have a lectin is very, very bad that um, irritates the stomach lining of your stu uh, the stomach. So this is not anything about weight. This is about health. So a lot of the stuff, um, like I said, I mentioned before, not necessarily weight It's all about your health. So, um, you don't want, you don't want to eat tomatoes. Try to eliminate those. I love tomatoes, but I had to stop. Um, so let's talk about, um, let's talk about the vegetables that are highly beneficial for you. These are just some. There's more in the book. Um, beets, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, mushrooms. I'm sorry. Yes, mushrooms, mustard, and collard greens. Eggplant, ginger, kale, parsley, all types of peppers, and um, sweet potato and yam. Unlike type O and A people, I think O oh, people can't eat potatoes neither. We can't, cannot consume that. So B, you're very lucky that you can eat sweet potatoes and yams. Um, and any type of potato, I think. Um, avoid artichoke, corn, olives. And um, when I say olives, I mean like um, the olives that you like put on your pep uh, pizza or like in a cocktail or something. Um, pumpkin, radish, rhubarb, and again, tomato. Please eliminate tomato. It's not good for your stomach, okay? And I believe it also, um, I think it um, stops reproduction of insulin too, if I'm not mistaken, but I think that's for type A people. Um, <clears throat> fruits. Let's talk about your fruits. Highly beneficial for you is a banana, cranberry, grapes, papaya, pineapple, plum, and watermelon. Avoid avocado, no more avocado. Type O people and type B people, no avocado. Coconut, melon, persimmon, pomegranate, and star fruit. I was watching a video today, I won't take long. I was watching a video today on the, the, the Nutri uh, Bullet um, of how the Nutri Bullet was helping people um, uh, eliminate like pains and losing weight and things like that and stuff like that. And I think that the Nutri Bullet is an awesome thing. Um, one of the things I tell people when you're doing the diet, do whatever diet you like, just eat the foods that are beneficial for you and eliminate the ones that, um, are bad for you. So 
they were they were he was going into detail about all the fruits he put into the neutral bullet and um one of the things he put in there was avocado avocado has a lot of great stuff for you um a lot of great minerals and stuff for you but you have to consider your blood type if it does something that has the bad lactins for your blood type so for type um, O and type B people, avocado is bad. So it does something bad to you. So you can always use another, um, you can always use another type of um, fruit. For instance, in the morning, you can do pineapple, cranberry, banana, and kale. And that's perfect for you. Um, kale is good for you or spinach is good for you. Put it all in a, in a, um, a protein, I mean, a um, shake in the morning and be out the door. So just know that if you want to follow any of those diets that you see on TV, just say, well, I can't have avocado, but I can replace it with something else. Okay, let's do that. And then see if that works for you. Um so those are the fruits that you want to avoid let's talk about the juices um if you don't like pineapples um you can also drink like pineapple juice because some people say pineapple irritates them so drink pineapple juice and that that's not as bad um highly beneficial for you are beet green juice cabbage juice cranberry juice papaya juice and pineapple juice avoid coconut juice pomegranates and tomato juice avoid those um, spices, sugars, and seasonings. Highly, highly beneficial for you is curry, ginger, horseradish, parsley, and cat, cayenne pepper, which is found in like your hot sauce, I think. Um, avoid allspice, aspartame, which is um, equal, sweet and low. Avoid all that type. Everyone wants to uh, take it even diabetics, and it's not good for you at all. It's just another solution so you don't have to eat real sugar, but you might as well eat real sugar, no aspartame. Um, almond extract, this is a void list, um, aspartame, almond extract, cinnamon, avoid, cornstarch, gelatin, white and black pepper, avoid, and tapioca. Um, the book talks about something about the pepper, so you might not want to put pepper on your food. There's other ways you can season your food, okay? Um, condiments. Um, type B people are probably the only ones that can consume more condiments than the rest of them um so on the neutral list they put mayo jam jelly um mustard pickle relish salad dressing that's like low fat and worcestershire sauce so those things are not beneficial for you but they're okay for you to consume okay but just in moderation they just want you to avoid ketchup soy sauce and stevia i'm not sure what stevia is but um avoid ketchup soy sauce and stevia or stevia um, herbal teas, highly beneficial for you. Cayenne, <clears throat> excuse me, ginger, ginseng, green tea, licorice root, parsley, peppermint, raspberry leaf, rose hip. Avoid aloe, corn, silk, juniper, red clover, and rhubarb. There's lots of more on this list, but I will not go through it. Those are just some if you like tea. If you have any more questions, just inbox me. Um, miscellaneous beverages, highly beneficial for you is green tea. Green tea is perfect. Um, neutral beer, coffee, black tea, and red and white wine are neutral. So I would just kind of watch that once you can get yourself under control. They prefer you to just drink more green tea, not so much coffee. Coffee is perfect for type A people. It's actually highly beneficial for me, including the red wine too. So those things are neutral, so you might want to just watch it. Try to drink as much green tea instead of coffee. Um, avoid distilled liquor, seltzer water, and soda. Okay? Those things are not good for you. They don't serve any purpose, any nutri nutritious for purpose. Okay, so let's talk about um, one of the big things, I think, because uh, type B people have a big immune system, so they're pretty good. Um, it didn't go into a lot about uh, the supplements they needed, but one big one was um, magnesium. And um, type B people benefit from some type of, type of licorice. The book talks some, some talk about licorice, and um, I would prefer you guys to read it um, because they say something about licorice, but I know you can find it, excuse me, in your um, book. So the type B exercise profile mm, let's see let's see type b people 
should um, you guys a stress profile I mean it talks about your stress um, I did mention earlier that you can um, retaliate your stress with creativity but your exercise is also you're gonna eat right you want to exercise right so the most um, effective exercise schedule uh, for type B people should be at least three days a week with um, more intense physical activity and two days of like relaxing um, exercises. So you need to do more intense, slightly um, small relaxation. So some of the um, the book here, we'll talk about a little profile. I know you can't see it, but there's a list of the uh, exercises they they um, they you know list for you to do. Um, choose what you want. And that's with everything I just stated. You may not like beet juice. I'm not telling you to drink it. You may not like it. Drink whatever juice, other juice on there. Pick and choose what you want. Alfalfa sprouts is, um, beneficial for me, but I'm, I can't, I'm not doing it. Tofu is beneficial for me. I just can't do it. So I pick other stuff that are beneficial for me. Again, this is not to say you have to eat every single thing on the, highly beneficial list, but is pick something out that you like. Okay. So the exercises for type B aerobics, um, tennis, martial arts, calisthenics, hiking, cycling, swimming, brisk walking, jogging, weight training. And then your relaxing, um, exercises are like golf, Tai Chi and yoga. Um, and you just do those like twice a week. So, um, if you're older type B, um, stick with what you can do. Um, I, um, I tell that to my type A and type O people, stick with what you can do. I don't want you guys going out there going, I'm going to lift all these weights. Stick with what you can do, but do some type of exercise and know that it's not just about eating, um, but also exercising to help you, um, maintain your health and your well being and your weight control. Okay. Um, there's some fun facts in here about type B people. You can read up on it. It's awesome. It's amazing. This book is um, really, truly amazing. Um, I have had in the past couple weeks, I have actually had so many people hit me up and tell me the differences that it's making with them. I've lost weight and I've lost inches. I have went down pant sizes and shirt sizes, and I can tell a major difference in my skin, in my stomach, <coughs> in everything that I do, um, allergies and my asthma. So note that these diets, I mean, um, note that the book is going to help you with any problems you're experiencing. Um, my thing is... Um, try the diet out for whatever you compose your diet of if you say well you know in the in the morning i'll eat this in the morning i'll eat this for lunch if i'm going to eat a salad for dinner for the next two weeks just eat the salad that's beneficial for you no tomato in it um put your greens in it you know put your carrots in it or whatever low-fat dressing um try for a week Try for two weeks to challenge yourself if you and see if you notice a difference because you'll notice a difference in the first week. I did. A lot of people have even the book. And if you guys don't want to do it, please remember that that's not the all of the book. The half the back part of the book talks about all the case studies that he did with all his patients and how it helped him from fatigue, heart disease, cancer, lupus, um, sleeping problems, diabetes, um, AIDS. Um, people who had all kinds of problems, they actually benefit from this book. So just try doing that. Try doing it for a week or two. Challenge yourself for two weeks and see how it goes. If you don't like it, you don't have to hold yourself to it. Just eat the foods that's good for you. Okay? So that ends my video segment for Type B. I appreciate your support and I appreciate all of you who are viewing me every day and commenting. Um, eat to live, not live to eat, be healthy, love yourself and love others until next time. Thank you.